Today, we are learning Bruno. That's right. Bruno! And possibly the T's. Yeah, we're gonna learn Bruno. Two by two, C L L. Two by two, two by two, C L L. It's gonna be amazing. Look at my face. Sorry. That was really dumb. Did he get a PB? Oh my god, 792. I hate Ben Sconings. Alright, so let's teach you these Brunos. Um, Bruno is a great case. Um, it comes from a wonderful land. Just kidding. So, we're going to teach you how to recognize them first. Every Bruno case except one, you hold headlights on the left and chameleons on the right. So, I mean... Think of it as a chameleon just with these headlights here. I'm going to hold it like that. All right? Got it? Got it. Good. So, after getting that, you um, you look and see. Do you have a checkerboard, um, lines, uh, or what? Ow. That's, that's, I'm going to teach you the algorithm for those. Um... But the only trick here is the only time when you know when you want to go here is here's how you know. You look, they're going to be a standing alone line or it could be a standing alone line here also. So no matter what, when you get a standing alone line, hold it on the right, okay? So it, it, recognizing the standing alone lines is kind of um, um, unique because, look, if you have a standing alone line here... Put it on the right. But wait, now the Bruno's the other way. So that's a different algorithm. Um, another way you can recognize it is just hold Bruno normally. You get the standing line on the left. Okay, so that's that's the only trick here. Wait, why did I do that? I know CLO. That's the only trick where you have to know when to rotate U2 without being slow. So anyway, um, what am I going to say? Um, so let's learn the algorithm. This one you probably already know. Um, you know, normal Bruno, you recognize it with a standing line, and the standing lands line is on the right when the Bruno is normal. I mean, you might have the standing line on the right the other time. It's like on the right, but the, it's not a normal Bruno. So if you held the Bruno like normal, um, the standing line should be on the right, okay? Um, for this case. It is F. You know what sexy move is? It's R U R prime U prime. And you do sexy move twice. So R U R prime U prime again. Now F prime. So it's very similar to the case that you hopefully learned before, where you get horizontals F R U R prime U prime three times F prime. So that's, um, you probably already know this one. This is the alg you most likely use unless um, unless you use the algorithm that messed up the bottom layer. But none of these algs can mess up the bottom layer because this is not E G one or E G two. So, uh, wait, sorry, um, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Okay, so after you get that, you're gonna do, uh, yeah, that algorithm is really simple, um, memorize it, like, what, one minute, one, yeah, one, my pinkies, <laughs> uh, the other case. The other case here is when you have your Bruno, there are two ways to recognize it as I um, described before. One way is just hold the Bruno normally and the bars on the left. So you just go here and then put the bar on the right. Or every time you get a standing bar alone bar, every time you get a standing alone bar, you just put it on the right and check where the Bruno is. But I like just holding the Bruno normally. So you just do that so that you don't have to look at do three things because this one you have to like you know look at the bruno look at the bar then look at the bruno again um if you like did that but if you do it this way you just look at the bruno look at the bar done um so you hold the bruno like this and then the bar right here r u r prime 
u r d prime r u prime r prime f prime okay so r u r prime u r d prime r u prime r prime f prime one more time hold it like this r u r prime u r d prime r u prime r prime f prime u prime well not u prime <laughs> sorry that was just the auf sometimes u2 sometimes u sometimes u prime Whew, sorry uh, well, let's just tell this bring it more here Um, focus on here. Okay. Once again, uh, we're going to teach you another case. So, oh, this is taking a long time. I don't think I'm going to be able to teach the T's at all. Wait, actually, let's just get a random other case. All right, yeah. So this one's when you have the vertical lines. I... I I think I like this case pretty much. Um, you know, normal Bruno. The rest, case, the rest of the cases are normal Bruno. Five are normal holding, and one is not, which I already taught you. So the two verticals. Um, they're never gonna be horizontal. Wait. Uh, they're not. I don't think so. I don't think they're ever gonna be horizontal. So, anyway, this case are. U prime, R prime, F, R prime, F, R, U, R prime, F, R. So well, the way I think of it is R, U prime, R prime, F. Wait, I forgot the case unless I actually see it. Or do it fast. I have to see it or do it fast. Wait. Okay, so R, U prime, R prime, F. And R prime, F again. And R, U, R, U, R prime, F, R. It's, it's, yeah, I'll put a, but it's like a bunch of two, 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 um, yeah, just two, a bunch of, I just put it together with a bunch of two paired moves. So, let's do another case. Mm -mm. Not like that. Okay, this case, this is where you have a, I just think of it as a checkerboard. You know, if you ever done a checkerboard pattern on a 2x2, two two, one of the sides would look like this. Unless it's the saw side, but yeah. So, U prime, R, U prime. So, actually, wait. <laughs> I didn't even realize this. Okay. So, actually, you want to hold, I forgot to say, you hold it like this. But the way I do it, I incorporate U prime as the algorithm. I just can't do the finger trips without having U prime as part of the algorithm. So, you can hold it here. So R U prime R U prime R prime U R prime F R two F prime. So once again, R uh, U prime and then R U prime R U prime R prime U R prime F R two F prime. So yeah, that's a really nice case. Um, let me get that back. Oh, yeah, I remember the other two. Wait. Mm, how about... Okay. Mm. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle. Sorry. Taking a while. Uh, the next one will have it. Yeah, indeed. No. All right, sorry. Yeah, shouldn't this be it? Alright, here. Yeah. So U prime, then R U prime, R U prime, R prime U, R prime F, R two prime. So yeah, there is two there are two cases. Three, three! Oh my god, I forgot one of them. Sorry, there are three cases where you hold it differently. Okay. So anyway, next case. I really like this one. Uh wait, no, I don't like that one. Okay, this one I don't like. It's my second least favorite. Okay, so the way I recognize 
you're just gonna have recognize it by you have uh, diagonals the same and then the other two are just opposite but you don't have to worry about that just a diagonal the same so you if the diagonals are you hold the Bruno normally if the diagonals are left right I just look at the top one if it's left you hold the Bruno the bad way because left to me is bad and it's the algorithm that starts with left also so if it's left you do you two and then you do the bad algorithm that starts with left see so look at the top one ignore this left starts with left l prime u2 l u now the left hand sexy move l prime u prime l u 2 so actually when you do the u you want to do u2 instead then left hand sledgehammer l f prime l prime f here i'll explain with the right hand because you're probably more familiar with the right hand sexy move and sledgehammer so so with the right hand you have this one on the right when you hold the Bruno normally. So you don't have to do anything. It's just the good algorithm. Why is it good? You don't have to do U2. And it's very good for right-handed people because it starts with right. So R, U2, R prime, U prime. Now sexy move. R, U, R prime, U prime. But then you're going to do another U prime. So pretty much R, U, R prime, U2. Then R prime, then sledgehammer, R prime, F, R prime. So the other one is just the mirror of that. So I'll do that algorithm one more time. R U two R prime U prime R U R prime U two R prime F R F prime. And then the other algorithm, you know, left U two and then we do it. L prime U two L U L prime U prime L U two L F prime L prime F. Sorry about how I said there's only one that's, you don't do the different aligning. It's just I forgot the cases. As a matter of fact, I couldn't even think of the other two. This last two. I wasn't, I forgot about those. So, congratulations on learning the Bruno cases, because those cases do annoy me quite a bit. Um, sorry. Um, anyway. Hope you have fun with this, and keep dreaming. Just kidding. You'll be able to do it. You just learn one set a day. That's kind of how I did. So, bye. Or, not one set a day. Two Alks a day. So, yeah. Um, yeah. The T cases are coming next.